Hello, and welcome to this presentation on the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of South Carolina. Before we get started with the presentation, we've got a short video to introduce you to the College of Arts and Sciences. So sit back, enjoy the video, and then we'll start with the presentation. What will you do in the College of Arts and Sciences? More than you think. Take a closer look. You'll do a lot in the College of Arts and Sciences, from discovering your passion to developing skills that employers want. And after that, the sky's the limit. All right, welcome back to our presentation. My name is Simon Tarr, here socially distancing uh, with you. I'm a professor of media arts. I teach things like filmmaking, animation, game design, things like that. I serve as the Director of Undergraduate Studies for the School of Visual Art and Design. And I'm also the faculty principal of the Rodos Fellows Learning Community for Information Design and Computing. More on that later. Welcome to this presentation. Here in the College of Arts and Sciences, we really believe that it's important to provide an experience that allows students to explore without constraints. This is a place for ideally for the curious, creative, and innovative problem solver that the new economy needs. Well, now more than ever, honestly. We have a wide variety of majors, 48 majors. We have 60 minors and so many different courses that you can take to explore, to develop your course of study to find the career that's right for you. We have a lot of new boutique interdisciplinary minors that are, that are, that are sort of different that we have built to fuse together lots of differences, uh, different disciplines, things like global studies that are really popular that can really augment any major on campus. Just to give you a quote thinking about this, degrees in liberal arts and humanities are becoming more and more valuable for future proofing your career. You'd expect someone like me to uh, say something like this. I, I work in, in the humanities, but this comes from Mark Cuban, sort of the ultimate business person, like super entrepreneur. You've seen him on Shark Tank. When you talk to employers in all fields, in any walk of life, they're looking for students who are great thinkers and problem solvers. The degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences are valuable not just for the disciplines that you study, but because it can lead you down all kinds of career paths that might not necessarily be obvious. We are committed to help you chart that path to a great career. That commitment starts as soon as you join us. As soon as you sign up, we start giving you a personalized experience from the very beginning. This is a Research One university. It's the highest level of research productivity that you can get in the country. Um, that means the strongest academics, top rated undergraduate graduate programs here. We have over 600 faculty members with open door policies. I can't tell you how many students I've talked to over the course of the year. It's the best part of the job. Uh, I teach literally hundreds. I'm not making this up, hundreds of students. And it's a really great opportunity for students to develop a one-on-one -on -one mentoring relationship. We have a lot of sort of unorthodox ways to develop that relationship too. We can have programs where you can take your professor out to lunch on the university's dime. It's another really great way to get to know uh, a professor at a human level and start to talk about what are they working on? What are you working on? How can you work together and develop that mentorship bond? We have a lot of interdisciplinary programs and some fantastic institutes and centers that fuse together really top level research at this university. Um, 
you might know about majors like English or criminal justice or psychology or art, but we have lots of other interdisciplinary programs like the ones listed here, global studies, film media studies, African-American studies that fuse together different disciplines into really powerful, powerful hybrids. And we have great research centers, which might just sound like a bunch of words, honestly, Center for Digital Humanities, the Walker Institute for International Studies. But these are great places where students work. I have a lot of students that personally are employed by some of these centers. They make really good money as workers helping faculty and researchers develop new projects. Um, and it really accelerates the learning process and their degree programs. So you get here, what can you expect when you show up? Well, your very first semester, you could expect to take some courses in the Carolina core. That's what we call our, our fundamental uh, shared learning experience for all people at the university. Uh, you might pejoratively hear it called at other places, general education. There's nothing general about it. This is what the faculty have agreed is the foundation of any degree that you get here. You might also have heard uh, at, at some other universities that, well, I, you know, I have to get through, get through the general education requirements to get to the major courses. That's not true at all. It's especially not true here. You're going to take courses specific to your major right in your first semester. That's really important. You might also take classes, uh, classes called the University 101. This is uh, our number one rated class in the country. Uh, other universities everywhere come here actually to learn how to do a first year experience we are the best in the country at this this kind of a course and first year transitional experience so university 101 is a class where students come and they're very small courses they're taught by faculty and you really you get it's a great way to get to know uh, other students you develop a close relationship with the professor and you learn really how to how to be a college student at a really high level very quickly. It's very effective and we're the best at it of anyone in the country. Developing a major is complex. It's a complex path and you're going to develop a major map to help you map out that pathway. So you're going to get a lot of really great advising when you're here. Here's a sample first semester schedule that you might see. This is, uh, yours might look like this. It might look completely different. You develop something like this at orientation. Here's a political science major. This person is, uh, well, they're taking English 101, they're taking philosophy 114. So these are Carolina core courses, but they're taking courses for their major too. Global politics, national government, right? They're also taking university 101. This is a good schedule. Yours might look something like this, but you can see this is a good example of the type of satchel that you would get your first semester that you would develop with an advisor during orientation. That advising is really done well here. You're going to get advised at a lot of different levels by a whole bunch of people that are going to help you path, you know, chart this path through your degree. You'll be advised in the College of Arts and Sciences by faculty, like in this photograph. This is a, a really tremendous uh, member of the history faculty. Yes, he does have uh, all of the walls of his office are covered in comic book posters. It's true. Um, you're going to get advised by people in the Student Excellence Collaborative. That's sort of this one-stop shop in the College of Arts and Sciences for anything that you might need for your major. Here are the names of the, the really terrific advisors that we have there. You can contact them. You're going to get a major specific advisor. All of these people are here to help you with your goal. The goal at first is to find your major by the end of freshman year. You might not be decided. You might be an undecided. That's totally normal. That's a, that's a great time to come into a huge university to have all these options to try some things out and see what fits. And our goal is to help you find your major by the end of your freshman year. Maybe you already know what your major is. That's great, too. We're still going to help you. Uh, we're still going to advise you and give you a, a lot of advice on your on that pathway. I mentioned the Students Excellence Collaborative, that one-stop shop for anything you need to help get you individualized course selection advice, scholarship support, internship support, support on your academic network here at the university, career development support. You can contact them. You can visit them at this lovely building, Flynn Hall, or you can. Uh, contact them at the phone number I'm going to give you at the end of this presentation. Um, I mentioned getting scholarship support. You might be thinking about that. What kind of scholarships are there? 
There are scholarships all over the place developed by the departments. So you would contact or, or, uh, or look up uh, on the web the department that you're interested in and find out what scholarships they have. There are a lot of them. If you've got a major, there's a scholarship for it probably, especially because not only are there the ones listed here, but there's college-wide awards for any major in the College of Arts and Sciences where you can get financial support. So there's a lot of help available. Beyond campus, we've had internships at all kinds of fantastic places, nationally and locally, Exxon, Disney, NOAA, Pepsi. I can tell you beyond this list, personally, I've had students who also have had internships at Marvel, uh, Coca-Cola, no offense, Pepsi, uh, the Cartoon Network, any given film that's come in production in the region. There are a lot of great ways to extend your learning beyond the classroom through an internship. Other ways to extend your learning beyond the classroom, study abroad. We're all going to be traveling again soon. It will happen. And when that happens, we're going to be able to have su uh, support for you to study abroad as soon as we're able to. Um, and honestly, I know that we're developing some interesting virtual experiences to tie people over to have an international experience until we get back to, uh, to normal travel. A lot of what you do is going to be outside the classroom. Student life, we have this really great nationally ranked program in living and learning communities. We're top 10 in the nation. What's a learning community? This is where you get together and live with people who are interested in what you're interested in too. And we have so many of them here, you can see. I mentioned one of, at first. I am the faculty principal of the Rotos Fellows Learning Community for Information Design and Computing. There's a whole bunch of faculty-led learning communities um, where, they, uh, where there's a faculty member there. My office is where you live. And for example, for me, it doesn't matter what your major is in the Rotos Fellows, if you're interested in information design and computing, well, sure, you might be a computer science major or an information studies major, but we have a lot of theater majors and media arts majors, right? And we all get together. We have a giant maker space and, uh, and people do projects. We have unique and uh, exclusive programs and visitors and speakers. And all of these programs have things like that. Maybe you're interested in sustainability, so maybe Green Quad is for you. Maybe you're interested in public health, so Galen is for you. Maybe entrepreneurship and innovation. All of these are really tremendous. You can find out more at the housing website. I'm sure that you'll be uh, finding out more about housing going forward. But I highly recommend these. I'm happy to answer real specific questions about those if you might have that. Student life goes into clubs. Do we have hundreds of organizations for every possible uh, uh, interest that you can imagine. We have major specific clubs all over the place. The, the literary magazine, psychology, criminal justice, uh, academic uh, fraternities and sororities, really fantastic. Even beyond this, I'm personally the, uh, the faculty advisor or one of the faculty advisors for student media. So we have the Daily Gamecock newspaper, the Garnet and Black magazine, WUSC Radio, the, um, it's just, it, it, there's a filmmaking club. There's so many things you, you cannot, uh, you cannot miss it. There's just so much going on. But you don't want to hear that from me necessarily. You really want to talk to some students. You want to hear this from people who aren't just working here, but who have actually gone through this, who have taken the classes and had this experience. So I really want to recommend you ask some questions of the students that you're going to talk to. And we've got contact information here. I've mentioned the Student Excellence Collaborative as your one-stop shop. Highly recommend giving them a call if you have questions about your program. And you can visit us on the web at sc.edu slash arts and sciences. It's really been my pleasure to talk to you about the College of Arts and Sciences here at the University of South Carolina. I wish you the best of luck. This is a great time to come to a great university. 